Hello everyone, welcome back. I am Deepak Nigal and I welcome you to the series of C++ tutorials. In previous lecture, if you remember, we have discussed the access specifiers and now I am going to teach you data heading in a practical way. Right? Although we have discussed some part of data heading in previous lecture, but still uh, we can understand it again. Right? So let us suppose we have a class and we have created multiple object of that. But we are talking about one object only and it has some data members like we discussed about course so course is a data member and there is a function it could be a set function or get function so all these things are inside a class or wrapped inside a class so we call that these things are encapsulated right? this is called encapsulation that we are binding everything inside a class uh, now if we declare this course name as private then it means that data is hidden or information is hidden and we need these type of set and get functions to manipulate this data right you can also declare these things public but this is not uh, recommended or this is not required so what is the reason behind not declaring this course as public because someone might accidentally modify the data right so what could be that accidental modification let us suppose in previous lecture we discussed the example of year so if you have assigned 2 that is fine but if you are assigning minus 2 that is not fine right or if it is age of student you can assign 10 or maybe 20 that is absolutely fine but if someone is assigning is minus 1 or 0 that is absolutely wrong right so you can say that someone can pass these values to the function and assign the wrong data or invalid data but there is a difference right if you are assigning something to get and set or basically specifically if you are saying uh, about manipulation of data we are talking about set function right so if someone is assigning something or passing something let us suppose age to this set function then it can always validate this age right depending on the software or depending on the uh, developer so it can always validate the age and assign this variable after it to this uh, course name and then get can be used to access that variable right but if someone is assigning that directly that will assign some wrong values again discuss this previous example and now I am going to change all these things and make it public first and I am assigning an age variable right so there is a gb dot h equal to 20 that is fine it can be done right and if you do c out db gb dot h can be done again because this variable is public but now after that we'll assign minus 2 or minus 20 maybe and then we'll get the age again try to run this program c++ data heading try to run this and it has assigned 20 and it has assigned minus 20 so th this is not a practical way of doing things that's why we hide the data like this and this is hiding data now you will not be able to access these things try to do it and you will get some error and that's why we have public members we have uh, another access access specifier also that is called protected but we are not discussing it here we will discuss it in detail when we will talk about uh, inheritance or polymorphism so what you have to do int get data or get age so it will just return this value and get function is so simple that it doesn't need anything but in case of white 
we need int as a argument and we need then we need to change the age equal to age right there is one point remaining in the last lecture that we need to discuss it now now uh, if you think uh, this is working fine we'll run it and see the difference assign 20 here then do C out and try to get the age then E and DL it is fine right program has compiled successfully now try to run it and what do you expect I think you are expecting that it will give us 20 right see it now it's 0 why now I will teach you why this is 0 could you remember that here is uh, the variable name age and the data member is also age remember this thing right now come here so we have one object which is a data member and that is age now there is one variable coming from outside and it has also a name age if you change this age and keep it some another variable like a try to do it here if you do it here a a then answer will be fine it will have no problem and it is 20 right the problem is when you make it is and this is also age so all these variables are similar so what happens here when you are giving it age and data member is also age then compiler gets confused or actually compiler thinks that uh, the value you are assigning here the value you are assigning at this point is assigning this value to this variable only so this value gets assigned to local variable age not this one right you can also check the output by running here so age and here when I am trying to set age now we will see the output also and there is an error again I am making this mistake again and again try to run this again now you can see this is 20 when you are trying to set age it goes here assign and prints it right so one question that uh, might be coming to your mind is that then how can we access this age and why we need to keep track of this that which variable we are using right now so the answer is because these both variables are same and uh, this is local variable at this point of time or and inside this function so this gives priority to this local variable at this point of time so what you can do you can take this variable and huge arrow operator with this now as these operator uh, now as these uh, editors are very smart so you can see the color changes right age is red color here and red here also also so these two variables are same now right try to compile this program and run it again now you can see both are 20 so the variable that is coming inside or the parameter that, that we have here is 20 and another variable that is uh, inside the object is also 20 you, you could remember this thing right we have printed this inside set age but we don't need this so what you have to do the function that is made for a task should perform only that task right nothing else so if it is trying to get age or returning age it should only do this no validation or nothing else but this could perform validation so if I try to assign minus 2 or minus 1 as there is no validation so it is uh, assigning minus 1 right so just try to make it sure that h should be greater than 0 and then assign this variable now try to run and you can see this is default value which has been assigned okay so I think uh, this is clear to you concept of data hiding practically 
and now in next lecture we are going to understand data abstraction in a practical way till then if you have any doubt or query you can always write in the comments i will respond back thank you so much